My favorite food growing up would have to be mom's lasagna and mom's banana bread and anything with peanut butter in it. I use a lot of coriander in my cooking. Also big on star anise and fennel. I like fennel quite a bit too. I started off in this industry at a little French bistro in Pasadena. I think it was always a, a draw and a natural gravitation. I, I don't know that I really had a choice. Uh, at family events and uh, parties, I always ended up at the grill or uh, in the kitchen in some capacity. So I think it was, it was always there. Well, Catal is a Mediterranean-driven uh, restaurant, so uh, it's a broad blanket for us, and we get to borrow from France, uh, Italy, Spain is where a lot of our uh, cooking is rooted. One of our signature appetizers is a uh, Spanish octopus that's uh, braised, very tender, and it's got some really nice accompaniments to it. Our paellas are one of our uh, top sellers. Uh, we have a lobster and a chicken paella, and then we also uh, do it as a vegetarian dish as well as uh, we have a strong um, from the grill following and one of our signatures is our uh, rack of lamb. The surprise that I think people would encounter here is that we do have two personalities and two restaurants. Well, we have uh, the uh, bar, the alfresco dining opportunity downstairs, we call that Uva Bar, and then we have uh, dinner only seating upstairs in the restaurant at Catal. I think sometimes uh, it's overlooked that we have this environment upstairs and uh, we have one of the best vantage points for watching the fireworks show in the evenings. So it's two different menus, uh, two different venues, two different personalities, if you will. Any given day, the type of guests that you would find at Catal changes from day to day. It's, uh, it's really hard to get a finger on the pulse down here. It could be all tourists from across the country and it could be a local high school group and anywhere in between. Farm to table approach uh, is, is very current and very important. We're connected with local growers. We have a gentleman that we call our forager that, that goes to farmers markets and facilitates you know, providing a lot of these things for us. If I could do anything else, uh, I think I would maybe be doing some kind of carpentry or woodwork. Uh, I'm a very amateur level uh, furniture builder. Ah, my biggest culinary guilty pleasure. There's a little place in our neighborhood that uh, I figured out how to time it. That I can get fresh warm donuts in the middle of the night. So there's a little bit of guilt attached to that. Current Orange County dining scene. Uh, I, I think that uh, it's a little untapped. I, I think that there is some amazing talent. I think Orange County as a whole is, has its own subculture and I think the food is definitely reflective of that. My focus on, on guest uh, experiences is to wow them, to satisfy them, and to have them leave feeling very good about their experience here, very happy. I think it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to, to really finish off a day on a positive note. <laughs>